So Paul Bates here, Board the Loop Princess, and this morning I want to talk about the Loop Princess and uh, what we've done here to prep her for this voyage. So the Loop Princess is a 35 CT. Um, she was built in Tai. It's, it's a Tai Choi. It was built in Taiwan. It's built in 1986, and it runs two Ford Lehman SP90s. Now, with that being said, every day before I take off, and especially this one because we're going to do a 150 mile. Uh, crossage and uh you know i think me and bev are both very very nervous as we're getting ready to take off here uh extremely nervous i would say uh, but the weather window looks great uh, this is what we signed up for and we're going for it so this morning to prep i've got both my navs set up i've got the ipad down here i've got my go 7 here um, i'm going to use my uh ipad and my uh, samsung tablet on the upstairs helm to do most of my navigating. We should be able to just set the autopilot and go. But a couple things else that we've done this morning besides me going into the engine compartment, checking the transmission fluids, checking the engine fluids, uh, engine oil, coolant, all those things. That's what I did this morning, getting her ready to go. And then I changed out a few of my pads, anything with any oil on it at all, any drops or anything, I changed it out this morning just so I have a quick reference if I see, see something going wrong or I can tell right away if anything's gonna go wrong. So I love using those pads and that's what I use them for. And it seems like I change them out every once a week. They need to be changed out. So another thing we did this morning is we put our ditch bag together right here. You can see it right here. And that's in case uh, in case we had to abandon ship in the middle of the ocean. I mean, that's that's what that's for. I've got my knife right here. My plan is I would just cut the ropes on the dinghy, let the dinghy go and we would jump in the dinghy and that's that's our escape plan and then we have our uh dry bag right here just has an extra set of clothes in there a marine vhf radio uh and um a, a hard drive for my computer uh, with everything backed up onto it i will stick the laptop in there uh, throughout the, the day when i'm not using the laptop it'll be in this bag right here uh, just in case and so up here on the upper helm I've got pretty much got the navigation all set up up here um, and I'm going to use the I'm, I'm using my Samsung tablet <coughs> on Navtronics and that's what I'll use for my main uh, my main um, navigation throughout the trip if you guys can tell man I, we are a little bit nervous I can tell you that uh, anyway wish us luck we got a 24 hour window here I think we're planning on pulling out of here about 10 30 11 o'clock this morning and then it's a 24-hour passage out of beautiful Carabella. We've enjoyed our stay here. Wish we could have stayed a little bit longer here, especially out at the islands and stuff like that. But it's time to go, and we want to get to, we're a little bit behind the crowd here on the, for the loopers, so we're, we're trying to, you know, in a way get caught up, and then we have another agenda too that we're trying to, get, t trying to keep up with. Beverly and Daisy from the Loop Princess. Thank you so much for watching. Here's to salt under your keel and safe voyages. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you.